So you start your book really talking about extinction, something that's uh, important to me, especially I, I work with uh, the World Wildlife Fund. Um, if extinctions have happened before, and Carl Sagan said, extinction is the rule, survival is the exception. You know, as scientists work with deep geological time, how do you reckon with this moment that we're facing now in terms of all the extinctions that we're seeing, you know, one million species at risk of extinction? Well, as a professional biologist, it's um, it's torture. I mean, it's the sense that this is happening on our watch. Extinction is the rule in the long run of things, but in the short run, um, the trouble here is that, and not to beat up on humanity, but you know, there's going on nearly eight billion of us, and somewhere around 96% of all animal biomass on the world it, it, it are, is our livestock, ourselves, and our pets. And the other 6,000 species of mammals, for example, make up the other 4%. So there's just been a huge change in proportions to where the world is dominated by these by humans and our stuff. And you might say, well, that's how it works, but it's actually not how it works because we know that for the oceans to be productive and keep giving us fish and clams and seahorses, um, for the forests to do what forests do and for the rivers to do what rivers do, et cetera, that um, we have pushed these things generally beyond sensible limits. And um, so that it's you know I, I the the biodiversity crisis is not an aesthetic crisis the biodiversity crisis is a functional crisis which is going to show up in concern over food habitability um, civil order things like this um, you know where do we get our fresh water where do we get our fresh air um, where do we get our food um, so we we have we have to I guess um, if I can quote Matt Damon from The Martian, we, we have to science the shit out of this. Yeah. <laughs> we, got a, we got a lot of things to do, but, you know, and, and rather than beat ourselves up, I mean, realize how young the science is that, you know, 50 years ago, we couldn't even have much of this conversation. We sort of knew that things might be, but we wouldn't necessarily even know how to manage some of those resources uh, as we do now. And maybe we're going to know better 10 or 20 or 30 years from now. I think it's a, it's a question we got to, change the road we're on and correct the course, not to manage things to be pretty, but to manage things to be um, functional. Mm -hmm.